I had received a message this morning about a gentleman trying to tune his two-barrel carburetor that has been converted to a blow-through carburetor on a four-liter Jeep. I came to the conclusion that the gentleman was running a completely wrong carburetor for the situation. Right here in front of us, I have a 350 CFM carburetor, and to the left, I have a 600 CFM carburetor. The top of the carburetor actually says 500, but we'll get to that in a second. I've actually taken the liberty of gently shaving off a little bit of the carburetor here so you guys can better see what I'm talking about. Now I assure you that the carburetor did not feel any pain while going through this and in fact the carburetor is probably happier now than it was before so go ahead and just take my word for it. Jumping back to the question at hand, the carburetor on the left, the 600 CFM is a four barrel, the carburetor on the right is a 350 CFM two barrel. Now if we take the measurements off of each carburetor, we'll find out that the Venturi size and the throttle blade size is the same between both carburetors. And if we look at the booster design, there are both straight leg boosters. So the primary side of this carburetor should flow about the same as the entire two barrel carburetor, which is great, except for one thing. This is not actually a 600 CFM carburetor. In a previous video, we talked about carburetor sizing and CFM. And once I actually took the measurements, compared it to the Holly book, we're actually looking at 500 CFM on this one. Now, if you guys have been around for a little bit, you'll know that two barrel carburetors are rated differently from four barrel carburetors. And in fact, they're generally overrated. So a 350 CFM carburetor actually flows closer to 250 CFM when compared to a four barrel. So where it starts to get a little bit complicated is that people are often trying to save themselves a little bit of money. Generally, that's not really an issue. You can spend your money however you want or not spend it however you want. Now, continuing along that line of thinking, we'll get people with Chevy 350s, Ford 351s, Mopar 360s, and they'll go and grab a 450 or 500 CFM carburetor, two barrel, and they'll go ahead and stick it on top of their combination and they're thinking that they're actually saving gas because it's got less barrels. Less barrels means less fuel, right? The four barrels spend a lot of gas, so if you switch over to a two barrel, we're gonna be spending less gas. Now, even though they have good intentions, the execution is completely wrong. There is really no practical difference between two similarly sized four barrel and two barrel carburetors. In fact, like I mentioned earlier in this video, the front half of these carburetors are identical, which means that so long as you are on the front half of the carburetor, both carburetors are going to run exactly the same. Where you're gonna start running into an issue is anywhere beyond halfway on the throttle. The only thing that you're doing is that you're cutting off half of the air supply, and so the entire top half of your power band is now going to be non-existent for one. But for two, because now you're lacking all that free horsepower up on the top end, anything above 50% throttle, you're actually gonna be getting less gas mileage because now the engine's gotta be sucking through a straw in order to try to keep up and so it's going to be using up more fuel so if the problem is that we're not running enough airflow then the solution is just to get a bigger two barrel that way when you're up in the higher rpms now you're going to have the cfm in order to keep up with the larger carburetor and then when you're down low you're still only running on those two barrels so that should save you some gas money and again you would think that that would be the case but that's completely wrong I mentioned that this is a 350 CFM carburetor, but if you compare it to this four barrel, this is actually a 250 CFM carburetor. If you take a 500 CFM two barrel, it will have roughly the same Venturi and throttle blade size as a 750 CFM carburetor. A 750 CFM carburetor has a much wider Venturi up on top, and it has an even larger throttle blade on the bottom. So if you compare a 500 CFM two barrel to this 500 CFM four barrel, now the four barrel actually flows better than the two barrel. Now, because the four barrel has a tighter squeeze around the booster compared to the two barrel, the four barrel is going to atomize the fuel better and it's also gonna be more responsive down low. If you atomize the fuel better, you're gonna get better gas mileage. The only thing that's gonna happen when you get that 500 CFM carburetor is that it's going to be running a lot richer than it should because the response through the boosters is gonna be so low, the carburetor is gonna to have to be tuned a little bit fatter so that the poor amount of fuel that does end up coming out can compensate for the lack of signal that the booster is seeing. So if you get a small two barrel, you lose, and if you get a bigger two barrel, 
you lose. So what is the appropriate answer? Well, you can get two two barrels and you can have one open first and then you can open the second one later or you can get a four barrel that has the smaller venturis and then have one open first and then the other half open later. The only time I've ever seen the two barrel shine is on really, really small engines, like two liter, three liter engines at most. And that's because you can get some really, really small Venturis in there, or you can change out the straight leg booster for an annular booster, and then you can get better fuel flow that way. But if we're talking about a Chevy 350 or 351, a 360, or let's say you have a big boat of a car, like a 460 or 454, that two barrel is going to waste more gas and it's going to cost you a lot of power. So in both cases, definitely not worth it. If you guys have any more questions relating to this topic, go ahead and post them in the comments down below. I will see you guys all in the next one. Night Wrencher, signing out.